Let's discuss. It's Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I'm going to be checking out a new track from Thornhill. It is called Archangel and the last track they put out was Casanova. I did a reaction to that when it dropped. It was definitely a bit of an, uh, an adjustment for Thornhill's sound so I'm very interested to see what direction this one will take. Uh, we'll see of course. I think with Casanova I, I like it and it's on the upbeat playlist um, but it didn't stick with me heavy on the rotation quite so much so hopefully maybe this one might uh, but still very interested to see this, this style change and how it will play out for Thornhill. So I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it.
Thornhill Archangel, let's discuss. I have been interested to see where Thornhill would go since Casanova dropped, and it's very interesting to me because there is, I mean, there are things that are un mistakably Thornhill in them, but a lot of the actual like vocal approach is different and kind of reminds me of Cherry. If anybody listened to Cherry from last year, Jacob is the vocalist of that band along with a couple of other people who are involved in the scene. It's a very different style of music, but hearing these songs and the singing that he's doing and some of the delivery, it's it's not as surprising, I feel, as people who don't have that context of Cherry. Uh, for Thornhill themselves to change, I guess like you never really know if a band is gonna change their sound like that but with him working on that sort of style and, and it seems like kind of branching out that way you can absolutely see some of the things that you see in cherry used here in these new thornhill tracks but it's not even that for me it's it's like the approach of like harmonies and such and how different they are like this had some kind of ah background vocals type of stuff but if you go and listen to the dark pool the isolated vocal version that i've talked about a few times you can buy it on bandcamp you can find it on youtube if you just listen to that and all of the vocal layers and, and the delivery it's so much different from this and i think it's it's definitely an adjustment of casanova and archangel i think i preferred this one casanova took a little bit to grow on me and then i was really listening to it and now it's made its way to like my kind of up upbeat type of playlist, the shower playlist, the doing chores playlist, that sort of thing. But I haven't found myself revisiting it so much outside of those things uh, or like being like, you know what I want to listen to? Casanova. Where this one I feel I may, uh, again, there, there were just parts and I went back and got a timestamp and it was like 245 in the song uh, where that's the your, my, and then the angel is like a bigger vocal note. That is a really good example I feel of the delivery being similar to some stuff we see in Cherry that sort of sound is just really different but for me i was mainly hearing like how some of the light and also it, it was like listening to the chorus and stuff and, and reading through because i listened to this once more after because what i was noticing was it was kind of hard for me to make out the lyrics even though there weren't any unclean vocals or anything like that so i couldn't tell if it was just like the atmosphere of the song like overpowering it with the the instrumentals and such but uh, it didn't feel like the vocals were exactly like cutting over as much as in the past with Thornhill and, and Jacob's voice it really does uh, so again the context obviously quite different from Cherry but some similarities definitely on, on my first and second listen that I can hear I'm gonna do some more listening and then probably revisit Cherry's EP from last year um, but it's def it's something that played a key part in the differences that I, I was hearing from obviously what we've known from Thornhill in the past uh, in the new direction and if these are off of an album which I'm quite sure that there's an album in the works that just has not been announced yet I'm, I'm very interested to see in full because I feel like though I haven't loved these as much as the other tracks that Thornhill has put out in their discography and stuff they have a really interesting sound to them that I want to see how it plays out on a full album I could see myself really digging some some other sounds it does feel like it's missing a little bit of something to to kind of grab me the way I'm talking about with like how I didn't revisit Casanova so much long term it kind of had that new type of thing to it after I did the reaction video and I revisited it a lot and then it it sort of faded out so I'm interested to see long term how these singles will hold up if we get some more of this style where they'll fall for me that uh the drumming was something that really stood out for me again though it just sounded both in the mix and the delivery itself uh, just standing out to me from from the beginning it's very kind of like I don't know like poppy or something the mix for the drumming I feel like sounded excellent to me and maybe I don't know, maybe it's stylistic stuff because I've, I've seen a lot of people referring to this song um, and Casanova as like Deftones type of stuff. I tried to avoid spoilers, but I saw it first thing when I woke up this morning was people comparing to Deftones and stuff. And I didn't listen quite as much in, in those ranges growing up and stuff. So I'm not sure if maybe it's like a stylistic thing with the vocals as well that I'm hearing where it's like kind of harder for me to make everything out and it, it doesn't feel quite as cutting uh, as Thornhill in the past has done and again that wouldn't be like a, a style i'm not saying like because i know that they've had a lot of like plat back with the dark pool comparisons and stuff and i have talked on the channel a lot about how i try not to consider discography in in that context when going forward into new releases from bands and stuff especially because comparing your favorites and stuff to everything the band puts out going forward i feel like it just takes a lot away from your experience but when it comes to like the actual mixing and, and the delivery the way that you hear it 
I feel like that's a bit different. So I think this same style, but being able to hear those vocals a little bit better over the top of the instrumentals and then everything that was going on, because there were like some weird lead stuff going on in throughout this track as well that I'll have to go back and kind of try to get a better idea of. Uh, but overall, I think this is solid. I don't know how often I will revisit this one. I think more than Casanova, but it has me very interested to see what they'll do next because they've got like this this attitude with them, this this different sort of thing. Uh, the music video was very cool as well. I saw it, it was third eye visuals uh, and Jacob directed the video and such. So I like what they're doing artistically and stuff. I'm not sure that it will necessarily hit as hard for me as, as previous Thornhill, but I'm definitely willing <laughs> to listen to find out and excited to hear the next track because I feel like this is an interesting progression from Casanova and the third one will definitely add kind of more context. So uh, very interested in that. Those are my thoughts after hearing the song twice. I will link the music video that I reacted to as well as all of Thornhill's social media in the description. Other than that, you can also find my link tree, which will have the invite for the Discord server that I talk about on every video, every live stream, because it is full of a bunch of my favorite people. We've got a lot of music related conversation, a lot of conversation completely unrelated to music as well. So if that interests you, you want to come check it out, that will be there as well as my Instagram profile link. On Instagram, I do keep it all music related. I post a chart every Friday of what I've listened to the most over the course of the week. I post merch, vinyl, sweatshirts, flags, whatever I have ready to post, my never ending merch collection, things like that sometimes on my story about new videos. So if that interests you at all, my handle on there is the same as my YouTube channel. It is Rachel Reacts. But again, I'll have it in that link tree in the description if you have any interest in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.